Pushing over my mind with a terrible thing It's a transformation with nothing to do Not the body of a man from book Not the face of the one you love for Well, I've done that to a monster Whoa, I believe that it's okay Today, we are surrounded by technology. It's everywhere. But it's got to the point where these two don't even care that they've killed another person. Dude. Yeah, come on, man. Do it. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we can be f***ing funny, eh? We're gonna, like, smash the f***ing. Yes, man. In 2008, Jason Knight was a victim of video game-related violence. Oh, man. You're not actually gonna do it, are you? Oh, no, man. Don't do it. Oh, don't do it, man. Oh. Oh, man. Young boy Kenneth retells the events. Well, Jason was playing some Jackson 5 on Tap Tap Revenge 3, but then he was pretty stocked up on health potions because he bought them from the canteen, and, and Darcy and Jordan came, and they were like, oh, I'm jealous, so they, so they got out their Gatlin guns, which they also found in some crates from the canteen, and, and they got a point-blank headshot right into his, into his like, head. It was awesome, I was there, I stole, I stole the guy's hat as well. It has been noticed that because of this gaming, that students at a local school have formed clans and are now trading and downloading games illegally. We got a chance to speak to one of their clan members, who we have heard lead some of this game dealing. Yeah, Jason got knocked out by one of those faggy X-Men members. Apparently he was going to rat on them and get cod banned by the techies. But yeah, Jason was a dick. I mean he was responsible for plants for zombies and mini clip getting blocked from the school. So what kind of games do you play? Yeah, well, we played a lot of Mac and Wii games, you know, it was pretty cool last night. Abe unlocked the legendary Nathan Fish Joke Fish Tycoon. Sometimes we play online, like Minecraft and that, but those damn your sevens are always joining the network and flooding and griefing. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah Kevin. Oh, no. Kevin. Oh, no, you didn't. Kevin, oh, no, you didn't. Oh, my oh, God, oh, Kevin. Kevin. Oh, God, oh, oh, Kevin. Oh. One time, they actually flooded our actual house. Yeah, but we've got plans for them. We're gonna build Atlantis. Jokes on them, because it's already underwater. <laughs> yeah, uh, like those dope bros are gay. Yeah. Like, they play like Wii games like Mario and like Battalion, oh, Battalion yeah. Wars and stuff. We play COD. F***ing <laughs> sweet. What's up? Oh, there's the money. This is what money is. Bob! Bob! Get gas the Red Bull! Yeah! Just drink some water. The water's gay! The water's good for you. Gay! Parents everywhere are now concerned for their children. They are now concocting drinks to keep them awake and gaming all the time. Fucking mum. Alright, this is how we make cod juice. We get some fish oil tablets, some mintos, and some other vitamin pills. Here we go. Just for the flavour. Then we get some red hot chili sauce. That gets our tummies angry. Then we put some petrol in that, and that makes shit burn. It's gonna go off. Yeah. Cod juice, boys.
We decided to investigate into the making of these dangerous games and got an interview with lead game designer Billy Maxwell. So you're a leading game producer? Yep. And you're aware that your games single-handedly caused the London riots? <laughs> you're kidding, right? What are you laughing about? You caused the riots because your games are so violent. No, they didn't. Our games are hella peaceful. <laughs> yeah, hell peaceful. Well, obviously not, because everyone's blaming your games for urban violence. Like who? Well, I don't know. Everyone. Bill, Alan, everyone else all thinks your games have caused it. What? Come on, really? Well, everyone in the world thinks you're a jerk. <laughs> Clearly, there is a large division between gamers and game producers. These sadistic and irresponsible game producers obviously have no regret for separating teenagers through their games. While these clans often fight, they do have one thing they agree on. Religion. As we have seen, video games influence both violence and bullying in schools. How many more deaths and head injuries will it take before this gets too far? Parents, think twice before buying your son the new Grand Theft Auto or your daughter the new Wii Fit.